Hi and welcome to a new Lightroom tutorial. In this video I want to show you how you can create your own custom orange teal preset which is still quite famous on Instagram. So let's start with the post processing and the first things I want to include in that preset are the lens correction settings. But those two settings don't really have an impact on the color of the image. So this is up to your taste. But let's go on with the color grading. And the most important settings can be found in the calibration tab. And to achieve that orange kind of look, you want to increase the red primary hue by 100 as well as the green ones. And then reduce the blue primary hue all the way down. As it's starting to get a bit oversaturated, I'm reducing the red primary saturation. Oh, and by the way, if it starts to look weird in your image, try to change the white balance. Because the warmer the temperature, the more orange your image will look like, as you can see here. So just try to reduce the temperature. Then let's do some more color grading in the HSL tab. Here we want to get rid of the blue color saturation as well as the yellow color saturation. And then to get the teal in our image, we want to apply some split toning. And therefore we are applying a cold color tone to the shadows. Just be careful to not overdo the saturation of this color tone. Now there's one last thing to do and that is to change the tone curve a little bit. That means first I want to crush the blacks and then to get back some contrast I'm going to create a new point here and drag it down a bit. And to add contrast I'm going to add another point up there and drag it up. And we can even drag down the white point a little bit. And that's it for the settings for the preset. Of course you can use different settings for your own taste, but I think those settings will be a good starting point to further edit the image. Now if you want to save the preset, just go on that plus icon and create a new preset and just give the preset a name and click on create. So that's it for this video. I hope this was helpful and interesting. And of course, if you'd like to see more videos like this, then please feel free to subscribe to my channel. And thank you very much for watching this video.